right. Because how do you keep the commandments if you don't know what they are? That's right. right. What a lot of our people do is they run from them. That's right. They don't want to know them. But the make the thing is, it don't matter. The Lord know your spirit. That's right. He know you running from. He know you running from the law. That's right. But at the same time, you can be being wicked, and you know you're not doing living right. But in your mind, because how the Christianity church church that taught us, oh, if I don't know somebody specifically told me, then I'm good. Right. I ain't doing nothing wrong. So what they do is you start trying to talk to. Uh, I don't want to talk about that. But you love God though. But you don't want to talk about God with somebody that want to talk about God, right? So let's see what the second commandment is. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law. And the prophets. So basically what he's saying is there's actually 600 or oh, 600 law statute commandments. That's right. He said these are the two greatest ones. That you love God with all your heart, which is keep the commandments. And that you love your brother. Brother, sister, same thing. 600 ain't broken down to 10. Right, right, right. So, but the point is that it's saying that those two, read that second part again. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. So this second commandment is, is real important. On, the, on these two commandments hang all the law and so, the prophets. So on them two commandments hang all the law because... If you go into Leviticus and you talk, you start talking about how you know you supposed to treat your brothers, how you for uh, 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 something simple as your neighbor. That's right. So if you love your brother, right? In Leviticus law, if your brother, if your dog killed your your neighbor dog, right? If both of y'all had loved each other, your neighbor ain't gonna say it's your dog fault, right? He gonna say I understand it's an accident. So how do we how do we get through this? And the Bible explains you how do you do it. If it ain't the man's fault, then he won't be held accountable for it. But it's between those two men. So it's all about the love of your brother and your sister. You can't have hate in your heart for your people. That's right. Right? Give me that uh, two, uh, second John, uh, uh, first John uh, 2 and 15 again. You can't have hate for your heart, and for your people. So is there anything going on with you? No, like, is there anything that you got going on? You know what I'm saying? Not at all. Not at all, right? Give me a... Uh, uh, Oh, uh, numbers five to thirty-eight. So, one of the one of the laws that wait, read this. This is the book of but First John, chapter two and verse fifteen. Well, all that is love, not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So, Bible says, if you love the world. So how many how many how many brews you know how many men you know love they cause love they money bring it out love they women bring, bring it out up. how many women know love they eyelashes bring it out love they heels teach you don't understand once you start loving and covenant something you commit sin that's, that's right. right you break the laws of God's commandment that's, that's right, right. <coughs> he don't even hear you that's right you sitting there praying for for, for material things he don't hear you. Of God is coming out over here, but you coming over here trying to cause issues. That's right. <coughs> that ain't nothing but the devil. Trying to break up, trying to keep you from learning. That's, that's right. right. That's what it do, trying to make a distraction. That's right. The devil comes swiftly. That's right. When the word of God is coming out. That's, that's right. right. You understand? Okay. Read. Mark chapter 4, verse 15. Bring it up. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. See, she ain't doing nothing but trying to take the word away. You That's know what right. I'm saying? When it, when, when what, what happens when the words start coming out? What are we talking about? It flesh people's spirit. They get they get mad. They get angry. The enemy does the job. <laughs> exactly. So God say anybody got the love of the world, the love of Him ain't in them, right? Well, one of the main commandments is to get out of this world. Is do you understand that? Let me ask you a question. So, who were we before slavery? Bring it up. I'm gonna ask you this. No, I'll put it like this. What were we taught, or who were we taught that we were before slavery? Bring it up. Before slavery. Before God. slavery. Kings and queens, God. No, 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 no. I'm talking about in America. Who was you taught in school? What was you taught? Who you were before 
before slavery. Before slavery, we were slavery. Right? They didn't teach us nothing. Right. Our history started as slavery. That's right. Y'all came from slip to the slip to the to America as slaves. That's right. So the, the automatic thing is for you to assume I was already a slave. That's right. Right? But we weren't already slaves before that time. In this Bible, if you go through this Bible, you understand that we was ruling. But our disobedience is what stopped us. Absolutely. Right? So the commandments. If you really love God, right? You want to keep his commandments. That's right. So what was we wearing before we was slaves? slaves. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 1538. Yeah. First John 1538. Yeah. Okay. No, not first John. Okay, I just want to leave you. Okay, 1538. No, 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 no. Number two. So, because this is one of the main, main things, and one of the things that our sisters can't, can't get past. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe the borders a ribbon of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them. So, sister, give me uh, Second Timothy two. So, sister, so the point. Right. So the thing is, he said that this for remembrance forever throughout all our generations. We had a certain dress. The Lord said in the Bible, in another in another verse in the Bible that he won't. It's not people gonna be getting in the kingdom with strange apparel. That's right. So we have a dress. Don't Africans, a lot of different African nations, don't they have certain dresses they wear? Certain, certain, certain head back wraps. Some of them put uh, coins in the, and stuff in their mouth. Don't Asians uh, have certain dresses that the Japanese people wear? What did we wear before that? This is what we wore. The Bible says this is what we wore. This is what God wants to see you in. You got Timothy 2 and 9. Read. This is the book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame fast and sobriety. So, Bible said that the women supposed to dress, right? Modestly. Right. So, sister, what do you got on that's pertaining to a man? Bring it up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, if you look back, uh, if you if you don't mind sharing, about how, about how old are you? I'm 45. But how old are you? I'm 42. Okay. So, you 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 heard a little house, little house on the prairie before, right? How long ago was that? Uh, long time long ago, right? Time you ago. seen a whole lot of slave movies and all that, right? What was the women wearing? So, nowadays, our women feel like they can't wear dresses. I can't do that. I can't do this then. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, you see that? You're about to get deeper in that. Right. Okay, yeah. Well, 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 no, I'm not going to get deeper into it. It's just, it's, it's just bringing it to your attention, right, sister. Right, right, right. That's all it is. It's just bringing it to your attention because what we have done is exactly what you said in 2 and 15, in 1 John 2 and 15. Right. We have got accustomed to the ways of this world. Right. It said do not take on the ways of the heathen. That's right. You dress like a heathen, sister. That's right. Those, that's what they want us wearing. That's because right. they know God don't want our women showing their bodies to nobody but their husband. That's but right. what they did. Now, you 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 40 something, have you not seen the trans the transference and the transformers of the woman's apparel and the man's apparel? Mm -hmm. Men used to wear pants that that that, that, that set off of their legs. Now every everybody got skinny jeans. That's right. A woman can't go pair of, buy a pair of pants unless she gotta squeeze herself into them. Right. You understand? Know women ain't even really buying blouses no more. Women ain't really buying dresses, now they buying pants suits. Because everything go against what God says for us to do, right. sister. So it's very important, Lord, uh, sister, that we get back to the Bible and get back to who we are as a people. I appreciate you, sister. That's okay, sister. Did they give you a flyer? Did anybody uh, subscribe you? Did they get you subscribed to our YouTube channel so you get a chance to? <laughs> man, it's very important, man, that our people understand and that we got to get back to God's laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Get back to uh, uh, Exodus 20 and 3. But in order for you to have the love of God, he says that the love of him is keeping the commandments. That's right. So you got to know what the commandments are. That's right. In order to keep them. And the first one is, read. 
The book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 3. Bring it up. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Anytime you make anything, you have love for anything other than God, you don't put God first, you turn it into an idol. You turn it into an idol. If you love your car, if you love your money, if you love your hair, That's right. if you love, even if you love your children more than God. That's right. You going against God's laws. You transgressing. That's right. Read. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. So all these people believe, <coughs> say they believe in God and supposedly greet Jesus Christ, Jehovah Shah. But the Bible tells you not to make a, a graven image. That's right. But they let the rappers basically influence our people to go out and spend all this money on Jesus' pieces.